hole 10, the waterfall and the start of the back nine. Tricky little hole, watch out for the hazard on the right hand side past the rock, go in the water and it's an immediate penalty stroke. Different ways of playing this, if you can come past the rock, um, over the hole, bounce off the back wall for a double or hit the rock and try and curl it in to a dead weight for either a one or a two. Really important to get the strength right. Over hit the ball and you could end up in the water. Which brings us on to the toughest hole on the course. Hole 11, Heartbreak Ridge. There are two ways of playing it. The brave straight at the hole and gives you the chance of the ace. Lovely shot. Over hit it though and you could be down the back and a potential seven on the cards. Or you can come off the right or left hand wall and try and double it onto the plateau for a two. A tough hole either way. Hole 12, Tsunami. Make sure you steer clear of the channels on the left and the right of the hole. Two options really, a dead ball at pace off the back of the wall. Uh, gives you a chance of an ace but usually a nice safe two. Or you can use a bouncier ball again for the double but you could end up with a ball back at your feet. Or there is the option of going straight at the hole. Get it right, it's a lovely shot. Get it wrong and you could end up in the channel. Hole 13, the bridge. A nice hole after the tough 11th and 12th. Definitely need a ball with some bounce on it. A course ball often can be good enough. Um, some people use clickers, golf balls, but it really needs to have some bounce. Whether you're coming off the bridge, off the back wall, going for a double, or going for the touch shot straight off the bridge into the hole. A uh, lovely hole. Quite a tricky second shot though, so looks can be deceiving. Definitely worth practicing, but quite a nice way of easing yourself back into the round after a couple of really tough holes. Hole 14, Stranra. A simple looking hole, but has tripped up many a round as you get onto the final five holes. A huge move dog leg from right to left causes this to be such a delicate shot. Get the ball, get the weight just right. Needs to have the pace to come up over the hill and it will turn in towards the hole. Over hit it and you've got a very very tough second shot. Under hit it and you'll be standing back at the tee with the ball at your feet. Lovely shot when it goes in there. Hole 15 the Omega Loop. One of the toughest holes on the course in terms of getting aces. Usually if you can get a two you'll be more than happy. Two ways of playing it. Follow the contour of the hole and you get the pace and everything just right and it may just roll straight into the hole. Usually though you'll be sitting around that area for a tap in for a two. Definitely worth practicing though. That green moves possibly more than any other green on the course so definitely worth as with most of the holes practicing those second shots. The other way of playing it is to get the angles right and go for the double. Get the pace, get the bounce right, follow the contour of the um, bricks and you may just find that rolling in for a wonderful ace. Hole 16, the shark's teeth. Several ways of playing this, coming off the right, coming off the left, a lot of players are now favouring the shot straight through the teeth. Get a nice ball with a good bit of bounce and the angles can be just right for that rebound into the ace. Again, even if you clip the inside left of the rock, you've still got a chance with the right pace of it coming back, possibly for an ace, but definitely for a nice tap in for a two. A lovely hole when it works and one of the nicest holes on the course. Get an ace and you're really set up with just two to go. Hole 17, Beecher's Brook. Again, with the pressure as you come down that final straight, this can be one of the toughest holes on the course. Get the shot right, get the angles right, get the ball right, and you could be looking at an ace or a lovely tap in for a two. Really is a question of what ball you use. Go for a bouncy ball and you need to get the pace just right over the top of the hill. Go for a dead ball, you can hit it harder, but you may end up with a really tough second shot. Again, as with all the holes on, on the course, get the angles right, get the ball right, and the ball drops in for an ace. 
really nice hole and a really tough hole with uh, the end in sight. Which brings us on to hole 18, journey's end and the final hole of the course. Definitely an aceable hole. Two ways of doing it. Straight through the middle of the rocks and you've got a chance. Um, or the more showboating end of a round, go for the double. Again, must get the right ball, get the right pace, and a lovely way to finish. Okay, so that's the round of Strokes Adventure Golf Course in Margate. Um, hopefully it might help you with some of your lines if you've not played here before. 18 holes of quality mini golf, set at the seafront at lovely sunny Margate. And look forward to seeing you all at the British Open in September. Thank you and good night. Thank you.